into wisdom, loving, elegance, and grace. And I am going to do a boxes thing unveil. And uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. This has been my anniversary week, and it's it's, uh, it's been awesome. Uh, we've been kind of going all over parts of uh, of our state, so it's been nice. So. Um, I was about to unbox this because it came in it came in the mail and I said well I could just go on ahead and unbox it with you so uh, so I already cut it open I haven't cut the box open I haven't um, opened it up or took the plastic off or anything this was there was a, a TSB on QVC this week and the bag was under $200 so uh, I had been contemplating on whether to get it or not, and then my my husband was like, "Well, you know, you can at least see, you know, see what it's like." And it is the kettle leather. So, and actually, I had a friend. I have a friend who got the same color. So, because I had sent it to her, and she was like, "Oh," she said, "What are you, are you getting the bag?" I said, oh, "I'm not sure yet." So, um, let's see what the bag looks like. So I decided I was contemplating on getting the, I think it was called mustard or like, yeah, like a yellow color. It really wasn't yellow. It was more of a mustard color. So I was contemplating on getting that. So they always, one thing I can say, uh, they do pack things very nicely. Real nicely. So I'm getting, taking all this out, taking all the stuffing out and everything. Ooh, lots of silica gel. They're really on the silica gel, making sure everything was packed really nice and no desiccants in the bag. So the dog leash. So there's like even a little foam here. And, uh, and then I'm taking the tag off. And the bag is, let's see. Uh, the bag is in olive, and it was a uh, Dunenberg Vaquetta leather tote, and it's not a big tote. There's another foam. Here's the the dust dust bag. Let's take that off. And okay, and then we'll take this. So it is called yes, the beacon. So it's the new line from Duty and Burke to Beacon, and it's a slip tote in olive. So let me put this and move this out of the way. So here's the bag. So the bag from it has the gold detail, Duty and Burke, and it's 1975. And there is a pocket in the front and you can see the handles the handles are wrapped with the letter leather the leather and uh, I think Susan on QVC was saying that the leather is is, so, is strong enough where it'll put it'll get softer over time and so the, there's like a t uh, like gold uh, jewelry quality um, attachments here at the handle and then you can see it's a striped lining, cotton canvas lining. Take that plastic off. And then there's two slip, you can see there's two slip pockets here. You can put your glasses, sunglasses. And then there is a zippered compartment here. And that has like all your registration information in it. And then there's another pocket here. Like if you wanted to put your business cards or your, you know, if you had your receipts or something like that. And then there's also like this inset here with where it actually zips. And you can tuck that in there like that. So the bag is freestanding. The bag also on the back, the back of the bag, there is a, a pocket in the back of the bag too. It is, uh, it's a tote and it is freestanding on its own as you can see uh, it is not it is not a large tote uh, I have a grass green color Dooney and Burke but it actually has like the it has the uh, light colored leather 
uh, on the handles. This is all olive. There is white uh, uh, stitch detail and there are feet uh, gold feet on the bottom on the bottom and it is I would say it's a sturdy leather it's, I wouldn't say like it's real soft or it's very it's a sturdy a sturdy leather and let's see here so you can see that I can get it on my shoulder pretty good like that I can get on it and I'll take a couple pictures of it too and it sits really nice it's a nice bag you could be able I know it's a lot of times I hear them say that you could put your iPad in there personally I would not want to put my iPad or something you can if you want but to me that seemed like that would be very heavy if I put an iPad in there I probably would just be carrying it like this with my hand I would not be putting that over my shoulder so um, I think the bag is very very pretty it's a pretty bag I do not have a uh, like an olive dark green bag, so it's a perfect bag for fall. It's a nice bag where, like for example, if if I wanted to, and apparently just side note, like you hear that and they say, oh, that's a good thing, that's a good thing, but apparently over time you're not supposed to hear that. Apparently over time it's supposed to it's supposed to soften, and you're not going to hear that. So they were saying, well, just enjoy it. It's just like uh, you're getting into a brand new car with leather seats. So it'll you know, have that new leather sound and everything. So and apparently you can pull the pull the pocket the the uh, handles all the way down if you like. And uh, I will put a link to the the bag in in the description box because the bag was one ninety nine. And the bag actually, you know, a lot of times they'll say, oh, you know, the bag will go up to a little bit. Maybe it'll go up or the, I don't know how much. They'll say, I don't know how much it'll go up. But this bag is selling on Dooney and Burke for $268. And it actually went back up on QVC after the Today's Special to $268. So um, I said, well, it's a, just to try the bag for it being under $200. I thought it'd be a great idea to do that. So I think the bag is really pretty. I will um, do a future post on like what I put in it and everything like that. I'm thinking like, you know, even if the bag is open, you could still like in the fall, if I wanted to put a scarf in here or something like that, I could. And it would be, and it still would be fine. But I really do like that, you know, for a zippered bag that isn't Paquetta leather for under $200, I thought it was a really good deal. And I really liked the really liked the colors. I was going between the mustard and the olive, and I decided on the olive. My my uh, friend actually got the olive as well, so I said we'd be twinsies, um, you know. So um, I will let me know what you think of the bag. Uh, it's not a this big huge tote where you can just be, get everything in it as everyone says it, you know, including the kitchen sink. I mean it's. It's a it's a it's a handbag and it's a bag where you can get like if you wanted to put a scarf in it or something like that or if you had like uh, you know maybe a file or something you wanted to put in there you could but it's not anything where you would just be putting everything in this bag but as you can see it's really a nice I mean it's a nice amount I mean it's really a big I mean it's not a, a tall a tall bag. I think it's about 13 inches. Yeah. And, uh, but it is a smaller bag. It's a smaller bag, but it is not it, it's not like this this huge bag where you you know you you're going to be putting everything into it. So um, if you purchase this bag, whether at Dooney Dooney and Burke website or if you purchase it on QVC, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to like put things. I'm gonna put my things in it and then start wearing it and see see what I think about it. I think it's a pretty bag. I think it's a pretty bag. Uh, I do have another review that I'm going to uh, show you, but so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but I do I do think this is a pretty bag. But I just it's a little bit smaller than kind of what I thought. But I know it wasn't going to be a huge a, like this huge tote. And in, in essence, I really don't want to carry anything too big. So um, I just wanted to share with you and kind of do this unboxing because I was like, well, I'm actually unboxing it. So I might as well just unbox it and just show, show you guys what, you know, what it looks like. So let me know what you think. 
and uh, in a future video I will um, show you kind of what I put into it and how I style it and that kind of stuff so until next time be bold be elegant be you and remember God is for you and Jesus loves you this is JT Wisdom and if you have not subscribed please do the button is below just click the button the bell button below and you'll receive notifications when videos are uploaded so until next time this is JT Wisdom and have a wonderful day